Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Cloudy skies dominating the valley today with wind and very mild temperatures. How for this? We look at the clouds uh, throughout the valley today and uh, it stayed mostly cloudy with only just a slight chance for rain. And I would love to show you a time lapse, but I can't get this computer to work right. Well, let's take a look at what's happening right now. Live view from the village at Meridian. You know what? It's still cloudy out. And when you wake up tomorrow, it will still be cloudy, but not much rain. Very threatening skies, but only rain will be in eastern Oregon. I'm talking for Aiden Canyon County staying dry and into Elmore County as well. But you go to the north, a better chance for some showers coming in. A temperature right now, how about this? It is still above 60 or 60 degrees. It's been 60 or above since just after noon today. 10 hours worth of the temperature staying here because of the wind. The wind has actually increased over the past few hours. It's southeast of 21, gusting over 35 miles an hour, gusting close to 40 around the Magic Valley, just above 40. And so those gusty winds will really hold the temperature up from falling tonight. And this is what I expected last week when I was looking at this system. Is it would be mild because we'll be ahead of this cold front in the warm sector of a storm. And that's keeping us mild. 50 degrees in McCall for the high temperature today. Four hundredths of an inch of rain, of course. A lot of melting continues to go on. Winds turn out light this afternoon in McCall after being breezy a little bit early on. And when you look at some of the other high temperatures, even Stanley, which for several days had stayed in the 20s and popped up as the cold air just disappeared up to 49 for high Stanley at 65 Hundred feet today, 48 in Haley as well. So very mild temperatures. Similar story tomorrow. Then a cold front will come in from the west, and by Boise uh, by 6:30 or so in the evening, that's when we'll be passing Boise, and that'll start to usher in some cooler weather. Not rapidly, but it'll happen overnight through the weekend. We'll notice those temperatures dropping. So how about this? Through Friday, all throughout this purple region here, wind gusts 40 to 70 miles per hour, and uh, power outages, travel disruptions. So that's still occurring in, in uh, Oregon tomorrow, and in western Washington, and down through California. And of that as well, some of these open areas, very gusty winds will be occurring again. It's going to continue with that strong jet stream. And how about the rain between today and tomorrow? Six to eight inches of rain here and moisture just near the Sierras, rain and snow mix, depending where you get locally up to eight inches south of San Francisco. They're getting hammered with rain right now. And so this is definitely going to make a dent in the drought. But they need about 12 to 18 inches of moisture. We're seeing about three to six here. Another two to four could come in Monday and Tuesday. So good. Good news for California. It's bad news with some of the damage that they're having, uh, but again, the long term effects will certainly be good. There's the 60 in Boise, 49 in Ontario, rain showers to the west. It hasn't changed all that much, except the wind has increased here a little bit, as I mentioned, getting wind gusts of 35 to 40 in some parts of the Treasure Valley right now, lighter winds in the western valley. Look at that heavy rain down near Sacramento and that continues to stream to the north. A very strong jet stream. You can see it pinwheel or I should say just streaming from south to north here. 160, 170 mile an hour winds aloft here. Just bringing all that moisture right in from the tropics. San Francisco you can see the very heavy rain but much of this will go by to our south tomorrow. Break apart. We'll get a little bit of rain over Idaho and then the cooler weather to the west will finally make its way into the valley. But again most of the moisture will stay to the west and north of the Treasure Valley and I don't expect much moisture at all over the weekend. How about this? A lot of sunshine coming in, but it will get colder. We're talking only 35 for the high temperature on Sunday, but not tomorrow. Gusty wind again. When you wake up, the wind will be howling again, and the temperature, I'm putting a low of 50, will probably be up in the mid-50s by the time you're heading out the door tomorrow and just stay there all day long until the front comes through. The temperature's in the upper 50s with cloudy skies and the gusty winds. 40s in Long Valley, upper 40s in Boise County. Snow, rain will be coming in, but snow levels above 6,500 feet will drop tomorrow night into Saturday morning. It'll turn from the rain to of snow in Stanley. There could be a few inches of snow here, but in the West Central Mountains, you'll have to get up above 6,500 feet before you can get a couple of inches of snow from that rain turning over to snow. 58 and twin tomorrow, gusty winds, mainly cloudy skies. My on your side extended forecast. Uh, one last day of the very mild weather on Saturday, 45, but a breeze will make us have a wind chill factor in the 20s and 30s. So it's going to be a chilly day on Saturday, but light wind on Sunday. And if we can keep fog away, which I think we will, since it hasn't really rained much in much of the Treasure Valley. We'll have good visibility. That winter day that you would expect <laughs> finally arrives sun. on Sunday. From and sun up yeah. to sundown. Exactly. I would nice. take the sun at this point. Yeah. Coming up next, uh, amazing recovery by a local man after he suffered a major stroke. And it's all thanks to a unique rehabilitation center that you probably didn't even know was here in the valley.